Hi everyone, I'm Kim Hurst and I run a community on Facebook called Scrapbook with Canva. Today, I'm going to be sharing you how to use digital files in this easy Canva tutorial. And I'm going to be featuring digital files from the December Daily 2022 product collection at Allie Edwards Design Inc. I've been a long time Allie Edwards fan and follower and every year she creates kits that are companions to her uh, album project, which is called December Daily. You can find more about December Daily on her blog. And I'm actually in her blog right, in, I mean, on her website right now. And you can see these are um, products that she has, kits she's put together and designed, albums, things that help you tell the story of December Daily, um, or stories in December. Um, it's an amazing project. There's an amazing community around it. And I will link all of that um, in the in this video. But what I want to show you right now is that all of these physical products are also available digitally. And I'm going to go to uh, her website, her shop, and follow the little uh, navigation. And you'll see that all of these items are now coming up as digital files that you can use in um, easy to use software programs like Canva and uh, create your own designs. So I'm going to scroll down here and specifically, I'm going to be talking today about the digital trees as soon as we scroll down to see them right here. So I'm going to click on the digital plastic trees. They sold out super quick on release day. And um, I know that there's some upcoming projects in uh, the product play lessons this week that feature these trees. So I wanted to give you some options on how to use them with the digital files. But I also want to point out that in case you didn't know, um, she has a huge sale on digitals right now. So you can get, you can pick up some amazing designs digitally to add to your album. I'm scrolling down here quite quickly, but I wanted to show you the value here. Um, as soon as I find one of her kits, as I keep talking, so there's digital stamps, there's journal cards, there's notebooks, like just about anything that can translate digitally, they do do that. So here we have the 2021 digital main kit from last year and it's this entire kit is half price right now um, i think if i scroll down a little bit further i found a digital kit from two years ago and this is 2020 so yeah definitely some great options so um to add to your library so you can like mix up your albums and there's so many things you can do with digitals i'm just such a huge fan okay so let's go back to the digital trees and the 2022 collection <coughs> excuse me 2022 collection is not part of the digital sale right now, but for $1.49, you can't beat that price for what you're going to be able to do with them. So add them to your cart, check out, and then meet me over here in Canva. So if you're finding this from a blog post, I have a link um, that you can sign up for a free Canva account. Canva is free to use, and it will be 100% free for what I'm showing you to do in this video. So go log on, I mean, go sign up for your account or log on to Canva, and we're gonna start a new design. I'm going to go to my plus, uh, section my plus little icon over here and it gives me some options of what I want to do I want to add a new design and just for um just for just to let you know I am using a desktop computer to film this video but Canva is available for every um platform so Android and iOS and you can use Canva on a laptop a tablet or your phone by using, you just need to download the apps for the uh, device that you have. 
Okay, so back over here, I'm going to create a new design and I want to create a landscape page uh, to put my trees on. I found that the landscape eight and a half by 11 was the best way to lay these out. So I'm going to click in custom size and I like to work in inches. So I am going to say my page is 11 by eight and a half and I'm going to create a new design. So now you see my page, my blank empty page in Canva and I'm going to do, I'm just going to rename it 11 by 8.5 and I'm going to do trees. So there we have our name of our page and right now I want to go ahead and upload into Canva um, the digital trees I just bought. So we will, I'm getting them from uh, my folder over here. So this is an un unzipped folder. So when you purchase digitals, you're going to, they're going to come zipped. You have to unzip them to reveal the individual images here. And I'm going to click on the ones that I want to upload into Canva. And then I'm going to just drag them out of my folder and onto my desktop where I have Canva open and they just automatically load right in. Now I'm going to click on an image and it should go in fairly close to the original size of the tree, the actual physical product. But just in case, I'm going to double check the size here. And this one looks like it's about 2.8 by 6.2. I think the original trees are approximately three by six. So this one is fairly accurate. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide it over to this side of my page. Now I'm gonna click on all the other trees that I want, and you can click on them all. They'll just kind of go in on top of each other, and then you can just play around with them. So I'm going to put this tree right here, and then I'm going to move this tree down here these ones, I want to fill in this space here. I think this is a perfect place for these trees. So I'm going to put them in place and then I'm actually going to grab this little circle button and rotate them 180 degrees. And do the same with this one. And I can see that they're a little bit close here. So I want to scooch them over so I have the most space for the trees here. And that one's off the page just a little bit. So maybe I'll move these down to give it a little bit more clearance. And I'm happy with that page layout. Now you'll notice that over here, they have a white border around the trees. And because I'm working on a white page, I can't see that border. So I'm going to click on the page itself. I'm going to click on the color icon at the top and I'm going to actually pull one of the colors from the trees as my background page color. And once I've done that, you can see that these two trees kind of overlap a little bit. So we want to make sure that that we space them out correctly so they don't do that. And now I have my page layout done and I can, <laughs> I'm just going to scoot these down just a little bit more so no trees are touching and I've got um, them all nicely laid out and once I download and print this page on the papers that I'm going to about to show you in some of the other videos um, I will actually be able to see where my cut lines are very very clearly because I've changed the color of the background so if I was going to download this page I would click share in the top right of my desktop and I'm going to click download. I am going to download this as a JPEG for right now. You could actually, I didn't do that. I downloaded it as a PDF and printed it as a PDF, but you have options for JPEG, um, a ping file, um, and then PDFs for um, printing and emailing. So I chose the 
PDF print option to download it. And um, I didn't change any of the settings up here. I just hit download and you'll see that this now is generating a PDF image of these trees, saving it to my desktop. If I double click on this, I can open it and there's my page of trees ready to print. So now I can just select my printer and um, print my page on the specialty papers that um, I show you in the next videos. Thanks so much for watching. And if you guys aren't a part of Scrapbook with Canva yet, I invite you to come join us in the community for more tips and tricks and tutorials and videos and lots of great content for memory keeping using digital products. Thanks so much.